Unit 7, Lesson 6, Absolute Value of Numbers. Number 1. On the number line, plot and label all numbers with an absolute value of 3 halves. 3 halves is the same as 1 and a half. The absolute value of negative 1 and a half is the same as 1 and a half because it's 1 and a half units from 0. And the absolute value of positive 1 half is 1 and a half because it's 1 and a half units away from 0. Number 2. The temperature at dawn is 6 degrees Celsius away from 0. Select all the temperatures that are possible. Negative 12 degrees Celsius would be 12 degrees away from 0, so that's not possible. Negative 6 degrees Celsius is 6 degrees away from 0. On the number line, negative 6 is 6 units away from 0 to the left, so B is possible. C, 0 degrees. Nope. 0 degrees is not 6 degrees away from 0, so that's not possible. D, 6 degrees Celsius. That is possible, because 6 degrees is 6 degrees away from 0. And E, 12 degrees Celsius. Nope, 12 degrees Celsius is 12 units away, or 12 degrees away from 0, so that wouldn't be possible. The absolute value of 6 is 6 units away from 0, and the absolute value of negative 6 is 6 units away from 0. So B and D are possible. Number 3. Put these numbers in order from least to greatest. The absolute value of negative 2 and 7 tenths, 0, 1 and 3 tenths, the absolute value of negative 1, and 2. When we put them in order from least to greatest, the smallest number value would be 0, the next greatest would be the absolute value of negative 1, because the absolute value of negative 1 is 1 unit away from 0. So underneath that in red, I wrote 1 to represent its value. The next number would be 1 and 3 tenths. Then the next value would be 2. And then finally, the greatest value would be the absolute value of negative 2 and 7 tenths. The absolute value of negative 2 and 7 tenths is 2 and 7 tenths because it's 2 and 7 tenths away from 0. Number 4. Elena donates some money to charity whenever she earns money as a babysitter. The table shows how much money, D, she donates for different amounts of money, M, that she earns. A. What percent of her income does Elena donate to charity? Explain or show your work. In this chart, she shows different amounts of donations for different amounts of money earned. I selected to use $30 of money earned and the $3.60 donated, and I have it here represented in my chart. The money is $30, and the donation is $3.06 dimes, or $3.60. I just wrote it as 3 and 6 tenths. I chose these numbers because I can easily turn $30 into $10 by dividing it by 3. I turned that $30 into $10 so that I could multiply that 10 times 10 to make it $100. I would do the same thing to the other side. $3.60 divided by 3 equals 1 and 2 tenths or $1 and 2 dimes or $1.20. So when she earns $10, she donates $1.20. Now multiply the dollar side by 10 and you get $100. For every $100 she earns, she would donate $12. Because $1.20 times 10 is $12. If she donates $12 for every $100 she earned, that's 12%. She donates 12% of her income to charity. If it was confusing for you to use a table, you could just use the amount of the donation divided by the money earned, and that would give you the percent. B. Which quantity, M or D, would be the better choice for the dependent variable in an equation describing the relationship between M and D? Explain your reasoning. Since the amount of the donation depends on the amount of money earned, D would be the dependent variable. C. Use your choice from the second question to write an equation that relates M and D. My equation is D equals 12 hundredths times M. Number 5. 
How many times larger is the first number in the pair than the second? A. 3 to the power of 4 is how many times larger than 3 to the power of 3? 3 to the power of 4 is 3 or 3 to the power of 1 times larger than 3 to the power of 3. B. 5 to the third power is how many times larger than 5 to the second power? 5 to the third power is 5 or 5 to the first power times larger than 5 to the second power. C. 7 to the tenth power is how many times larger than 7 to the eighth power? 7 to the tenth power is 49 or 7 to the second power times larger than 7 to the eighth power. D. 17 to the power of 6 is how many times larger than 17 to the power of 4? 17 to the power of 6 is 289 times larger than 17 to the power of 4. 17 to the power of 6 is also 17 to the power of 2 times larger than 17 to the power of 4. E. 5 to the power of 10 is how many times larger than 5 to the power of 4. 5 to the power of 10 is 15,625 or 5 to the power of 6 times larger than 5 to the power of 4. Number 6. Lynn's family needs to travel 325 miles to reach your grandmother's house. A. At 26 miles, what percentage of the trip's distance have they completed? So it can be written as 26 over 325, or it can be written as 26 divided by 325. Either way, it's going to give you the percentage of the trip completed. 26 divided by 325 equals 8 hundredths, and 8 hundredths is 8%. After 26 miles, Lynn's family has traveled 8% of the trip. B. How far have they traveled when they have completed 72% of the trip's distance? I created a chart with miles on the left and percent of the trip on the right. After 26 miles, they've completed 8% of the trip. I got that information when I solved problem A. I know that 8 times 9 equals 72. So 26 times 9 will give me the number of miles that they've traveled after 72% of the trip. 26 times 9 equals 234. So 72% of the trip is 234 miles. C. At 377 miles, what percentage of the trip's distance have they completed? Well, I know that 377 is more than 325, so they've gone more than 100% of the trip. I can still figure this out by dividing the number of miles traveled by the number of miles that they need to travel. So 377 divided by 325 equals 1 and 16 hundredths, which is the same as 116 hundredths or 116 percent of the trip. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 7, Lesson 6, Absolute Value of Numbers. Music